Age has been the world's growth driver, the growth champion. And uh, for many years, the last 50 years, most countries in Asia have grown faster than their North American and Western European counterparts. Uh, China is only the most noteworthy, growing at over 7% a year, but it's by no means alone. Uh, Korea, Indonesia, India, all, all growing at more than 5% per year. Even Japan at 3.3% over the last 50 years has been growing faster than the U.S. or Western Europe. As we go forward, a lot of that demographics, the, the change that was motivating some of that growth, uh, that's going to slow down. And so we see Asia, similar to the rest of the world, as having just simply much less of that fertility driven, uh, longer lifespan impacted uh, population growth. So that means that that kind of growth is going to slow. We're just not going to see that level of demand. And as a result, if it's all up to historical productivity, growth is going to be slower. Uh, growth is going to slow down also not just in the older countries like Japan, but across the board. Uh, in China, in India, and Indonesia. So specifically, we would say well, China has, for example, been growing at 7.5% uh, over the last 50 years. Uh, going forward, uh, that might only be 5%. Now, that might not seem like a lot, but it's still 25 to 30% slower uh, than it's been growing in the past.